And now, another special report from EBS Live. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Good morning. This is EBS Live. to acknowledge that we are here today on the traditional territory of the Mississauga of the Credit First Nation. Bonjour, j'ai un ancien. J'ai deux frères. Et je dis livre. Au revoir. Bonjour, les amis. Fais mathématiques. Saviez-vous qu'un Google est en un suivi de son zéro? Cela fait beaucoup de zéro. Hi, in grade 5 French class, we learn about numbers. And for example, if I have to say I have one brother, I would say 
de un pre. Bonjour, comment ça va? Hello, welcome to the fascinating world of music. Today we will be exploring what music really is. So, scientists have been uh, researching about music for some time now, and they have found out some uh, details that are quite interesting that many of us may or may have not know. Prepare to be truly amazed by what they have found out. Scientist says that it requires total brain workout. Research has shown that listening to music can reduce anxiety, blood pressure, and pain, as well as improve sleep quality, mental alertness, memory, and much, much more. Some people say that music makes their mood change, but they don't really connect, do they? Is that even true? Have you ever wondered? Well, by doing some research, scientists have proved that yes, it does. But how? They aren't being connected. Music and your mood, they're totally two different things. Well, um, the limbic system, which is involved in processing emotions and controlling memory, lights up our ears when our ears perceive music. The chills you feel when you hear a particularly moving piece of music may be the result of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that triggers sensations or happiness. everybody doing today? Good morning everyone. I am having a terrific Thursday morning. How are you doing Miss Cummins? Good morning Mrs. Cariotti. Good morning Mrs. Merwar and good morning our co-hosts. I'm having a fantastic morning. It was a little bit foggy out and slippery this morning. It definitely was foggy. I was up at 6 a.m. driving to the swimming community center and I could barely see uh, 50 feet in front of me, so it took mm -hmm. a long time. Uh, co host, introduce yourselves and take it over today. Um, my name is Gabriella. Um, I'm in seven, I mean, this time I'm in seven, eight class, um, and I'm, I'm great. Eight. Good morning, my name is Riaz. I am from Miss McEachran's 8A class. So nice to have you both on our morning show on this foggy Thursday morning. So we want to ask you both a question. Okay, I'll give you a moment to think about it. What is one thing that you enjoy most or that you love most about EVS? I'm sure there are many things. So that's why I'll give you a moment to think about it. Just share one thing. What's something that makes you happy about this space? I yeah. One thing that makes me happy is that how much energy that EVS has because in the morning, it's not so slow. It makes you feel energized and happy to start the day. Yeah, I love that. I've actually never thought about that, even though for we're a virtual space, we do bring such great energy. Thank you for sharing that. Gabby, what about you? Um, similar to what Ria said, I really love the morning show. 
I feel like it's an amazing way um, to start the day and like it really gets everyone energized and just it's just an amazing thing and it's really special it's what it's one of the my favorite things about it yes oh thank you for sharing that it's really so nice to hear from uh our grade eight leaders and so um co-host tell me you know we've gone a long way from where we were in september till now term one is done the report cards have gone home so what are you foreseeing? What are some things that you have goals for for this upcoming year? What are things that you want to see here at EBS? Help us out a little bit. Gabby, you can go first. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> question. You put them on the spot there, Mrs. Maroar. <laughs> um, so in terms of goals for the school year, um, I really want to do better at um, really just um, – Maybe like stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit more, which I feel like I have been doing a bit, which um, like being on the show a lot lately and like different um, parts of the morning show. Um, but I do want to get better at like um, kind of stepping out of my comfort zone, talking to other people. And um, yeah, that's probably one of my goals. That's amazing, Gabby. And I will share that when I started doing the morning show, I definitely, and Mrs. Merwar will, will know, I was not comfortable. And stepping out of my comfort zone really helped me realize the different skills that I have. So that's an excellent thing to share. Ria, did you want to share or do you want to pass? It's up to you. <laughs> I'll share. Okay. Um, kind of the same thing of what Gabby said is just stepping out of your comfort zone, interacting more with the other students, and just being more active overall. Love that. Thank you. That's perfect. Before I turn it to Ms. Cummins to, to take the end of our session today, um, the two of you are consistently a great voice, and we know that co-hosts in the morning are something that is new, and it's amazing because we're getting to hear a student voice. So continue to share with us. I'm going to turn it to Ms. Cummings to end it off today, and if you have any lasting questions, you can ask just before she goes on. Thank you, Gabriella and Riaz, for joining us today and leading us in the morning show. You know, stepping out of our comfort zone is something I had to do. So maybe today's challenge for all of us or, you know, suggestion, try to step out of our comfort zones. You know, seeing myself on the screen, not something I was like, oh, but now I'm like, ah, that's fine. So step out of your comfort zone today, everybody, and have a fantastic day.